this is so hot. It's good to hear some people here. So just be dumb. Just to get some different day. Uh, that makes any difference. Um, the scripture is part of the very word. It's like Jesus appears to the same. I'm going to take my hand and read all that here. Um, while they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be with you. They were startled and troubled, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do you have doubts rising? Look at my hands and my feet. Touch me and see, the ghost is not in flesh and bones. When he said this, he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And they still did not believe because of the joy and amazement. And I think it's kind of what's going on this morning because the people were legal that were back here. It's been a year, over a year since I've been in this So it, it's, I know that at my work, we've been pretending that this doesn't exist. We go in every day and there's new construction that does it. Construction is open free. I don't care if it's not. And I know that there's a lot of people that don't see anybody. And I've seen friends who just saw their parents or their mom for the first time in you know, many, many months. And I'm, I'm identifying with those thoughts because I'm seeing you folks. Um, so he showed him his hands and his feet while they didn't believe them because of their joy and amazement. With a piece of boiled fish, he took it and ate it the princess. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled, fulfilled that is written about the law, about me in the law of Moses. And he opened it, their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance and forgiveness of your sins will be preached. In his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, you are witnesses to these things. But clearly, this scripture is about her resurrection. And I feel like, why are we talking about this scripture? I mean, I, I'm getting it now. But as I was preparing this, I thought, everybody here knows this story. I'm not trying to convince anybody or Chris Joel or anybody from this. Everybody is sold. You know, we're the choir. I'm preaching the choir. Um, perhaps this for us this morning is about finding comfort in Jesus' triumph over death. Isaiah 41 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold your righteousness with my right hand. Thinking about things that we're familiar with, like the resurrection story. Um, how many of you have been flipping through channels, channel surfing your TV, and you come across a movie that you have seen lots? And I have. The Shawshank Redemption is one of those movies. But if it's on, I'll stop. And I know the story. There's nothing going to be new. I know how it ends. I know the bad guys, the good guys. I can almost recite the words with the actors on the screen. Part of me wishes I could go back and watch that movie for the first time again and experience the surprises and uh, the newness of that story. Maybe this is the lesson of the resurrection story, trying to capture the wonder in the message of the resurrection as if we were hearing it for the first time, like the disciples were seeing Christ for the first time. They didn't believe what was going on because of the joy and amazement. Psalm 33, 8, let all the earth, let all the inhabitants of the earth stand in awe of the Lord. I recently read a story about a farmer from Wales in the United Kingdom. He's 72, and he's lived on the same or in that farmhouse, he's been in the same um, farm uh, for his whole life. He's left the 
Wales one time. He went to England to go visit another, another farm. And when he was there, he was homesick and wanted to get back home to Wales. Um, it was comfortable to him. And he's, there's the valley that he lives in, he said, it's cut in the shape of his own heart. So it's a place that's very close to him. He has a routine, just like nature does. And that routine even extends to what he eats. He's eaten the same supper for 10 years, even on Christmas Day. Two pieces of fish, one big onion, an egg, baked beans, and a few biscuits at the end. I don't know if biscuits are cookies. Um, being a farmer means every day the same. Chores need to be done. The animals still need to be fed. Feeding the sheep and seeing them happy makes him happy. And the sheep never ask for anything different. They're happy with the same thing. He thinks the secret to life is to enjoy your work. Walking around this farm fills him with wonder. Working outside makes his life complete. In the springtime, the cuckoos come out of April, and he always looks forward here. And lots of people from different parts of the UK travel to his valley to hear the cuckoos. But they don't stop long enough. Sometimes they don't even get out of the cars. This makes him so sad that he actually cries. He urges people to get out of their cars and walk up the road and listen for the bird song. Perhaps this is another reason for the resurrection story again, is to be present. First Thessalonians 4, 11. And aspire to live quietly and to mind to your own affairs and to your work and to work with your hands as we instruct. 2020 has been a year that most people have labeled as a bad, bad year. On New Year's Eve, everybody was thankful to put 2020 to bed and to get on with things. But really, was 2020 that much different from other years in the big picture of things? We still have the same number of days, the same number of months, the same number of days. Sure. We have never endured a global right now, right now, I've never endured a global pandemic. And COVID made it unique. But is it unique something that we all look for? When we go to a football game or a basketball game, we love it when it goes into double overtime or triple overtime and somebody wins on a crazy shot or a crazy catch in the end zone instead of the same old, same old. We love the unique. I think one day we will look back on 2020 and it won't be so negative. I think we will see it with a sense of accomplishment and pride. Pride being the word. Saw the challenge and then we met it head on. And then we came through the other side. And we did it one day at a time. Even if it was, it seemed like it was the same thing over and over again, we made it to the end of each day. So the resurrection message might be this one. Hebrew 12, 11. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. But later, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Jennifer and I spent lots of hours at Janet Smart's house. And Janet Smart's name is on that piano over there. And then incidentally, last year, um, when we were at Shawn Mission Park, we saw a bench that had Janet Smart's name on it. And uh, the old head of her state of birth and, and passing and it said uh, uh, my dog is the boss of me so if you ever knew Janet heard that 
couldn't be more of an accurate statement. One time we were with, I think it was our dog Elliot, and he had stolen somebody's candy bar from the room, and we took it out of the dog's mouth. And Janet lived out and took, took the candy bar back and gave it to the dog. And she said, well, how would you feel if someone took the food right out of your mouth? Um, <laughs> Janet was full of life and um, full of love for all things. Um, I remember one time we were at her house and we were talking about one of our appliances that had broken, and she got so excited for the new one because our appliance was broken. And it wasn't because it was broken, it's because you get to go shopping and you get to go buy a new dishwasher or whatever it is. She would see the positive, the opportunity, the possibility. Plus, she likes shopping. The disciples' lives were broken after Jesus was crucified. They were way more disappointed than a broken dishwasher. They were crushed and lost. And miraculously, Jesus stood right with them. In the scripture, a little line, they were overwhelmed. But can you imagine what that would be like? To have that person in your life right back in. They were taken from the deepest depths of mourning to the elation of the embrace of their best friend. So maybe the resurrection message is many things it's comfort or discipline, or awe, or excitement at new things. I would say that, that message is for you to seek out and determine how the resurrection story plays in your life and what it means for you on a daily basis. <laughs>